So, it's April 15, 2016. I'm Megan Peterson with your Catch Can Daily News Weekly Recap. A 21-year-old Ketchikan woman remains in critical condition in Harborview Medical Center in Seattle after the plane she was traveling in crashed on Admiralty Island on April 8th. Morgan Enright of Ketchikan is the sole survivor of the crash, which killed three Wrangell residents, pilot David Gala and passengers Greg Sheff and Thomas Sakowicz. Gala reported clouds and low visibility before changing course on the flight to Angoon. Rescue crews discovered the, wa- the wreckage in an open area of steep, snow-covered terrain at an elevation of about 2,200 feet. Borough officials and a local six-year-old cut the ribbon on the newly renovated Monroe Street tot lot on Thursday. Six-year-old Addie Ap- Epler lobbied for the renovation after getting splinters on the playground's only structure, a wooden slide. Epler made a video about the state of the park and successfully applied for a $500 Disney grant for the project. The borough spent $46,000 to restore the playground, which now includes benches, a tire swing, and a new non-wood slide. In local schools, a group of Ketchikan students spent three days visiting Southern Southeast Regional Aquaculture Association's remote hatchery in Neats Bay this week. Eight elementary students from Fast Track Virtual School, as well as three Ketchikan High School teaching aides, took the three-day science and social immersion trip. Four children live at the remote hatchery, and two are enrolled in the Fast Track Homeschool program. This was the first such trip to the hatchery. In local sports, 2KI seniors committed to continuing their basketball careers together on Wednesday. Alexis Biggerstaff and Charlie Edwardson both signed letters of intent to play college ball at Everett Community College in Everett, Washington. The pair are the second and third of this year's graduating seniors on the girls' basketball team to commit to a college. Courtney Kemble signed with Centralia College in Washington earlier this month. Well, that's it. Check out this weekend scene for a look at First City Players' production of the Phantom Pool Booth. I'll leave you with the photo of the week. This has been Megan Peterson with your Catch Can Daily News Weekly Recap. Have a good weekend.